Hi, I'm DJ Michael Joseph, and in my three-plus decades of being a DJ, I have had more conversations with other DJs about songs or music libraries than I ever want to remember. Uh, one of the things that seems to always amaze me and always come up in the conversations that we have is that I'm, I'm surprised by how many DJs out there actually don't spend a lot of time working with their music library, or at least not as much as I think they should. They might say that they work on their library, but what they're doing is that they are more or less mass downloading songs from whatever subscription service they pay for. Uh, those songs go into a hard drive and at most may be scanned and never looked at again until they search for it. Now one of the things I always talk about in my DJ classes is that I believe every DJ should curate their own music library. In my opinion, downloading mass amounts of songs and scanning them isn't curating a library. You just become a song hoarder at that point. Uh, if you don't know what you have and you're not able to put it to use within a few seconds, uh, those songs then to me are just clutter and waste. Now let's take a look at a uh, DJ as if he or she was a carpenter, okay? Uh, a carpenter has all kinds of different tools, just like a DJ does. A DJ has speakers and microphones and computers and controllers and all kinds of stuff like that. But what every DJ must have is songs. Now let's say I hire you to be a carpenter on some project that I'm working on, and you pull up to the job site and your tools are all just piled in the back of your pickup truck. Uh, there's no order, that nothing's in any cases, it's just scattered everywhere, uh, no boxes or anything. I probably would take a look at you and go, okay, that is not a professional carpenter. If your music library was like those tools, uh, how would you look to other professional DJs? Uh, would you look like you knew what you were doing, or did, would you just look like you're phoning it in. Now, having all the songs doesn't matter as much as you think it does. Uh, if you have terabyte after terabyte of song, but you don't know what you have, or even worse, only put a small percentage of them to use, uh, what does that say for your creative mindset when it comes to DJing? If a carpenter had every single tool in the world but didn't know how to use half of them, I think that would be kind of sad. Uh, you might also say, you know, I don't need to worry about my music library. I've been spending for years, and I'm fine. But here's some food for thought. In case you don't know, there is a whole generation of DJs out there that spend time hunting and digging for songs. You might not notice these DJs because you might be used to a generation of DJs that go to an actual physical store and dig through actual crates of records or CDs. But this generation digs through digital versions of songs and they know what to play, they know when to play it, and their sets are always fresh. They don't take whatever version of song their download service gives them. They go out and search for different versions of songs to see what might work in different places, and they're not afraid to try those different versions out. Let's go back to the carpenter, for example. The DJ that I talked about above, they would be the kind of DJ that would have all their tools in order. They would be sharpened if they need to be sharp. They would be ready to go at any time. They would know what every tool they have and exactly what that tool does. You, too, have that ability to dig into that world that they do. Uh, with the download music that we have today, it is an incredible, endless amount of songs that you can get a lot easier than you could 20 or 30 years ago, where someone 20 or 30 years ago would have to go to a store and dig for hours and end up walking out with like maybe five to ten songs maximum, the modern DJ can dig through two or three subscription services in about an hour and come down with about a hundred songs and they would be usable in all kinds of different applications. The sad part is most DJs only stick to the three R's. Radio edits, remixes, or redrums. And those are utterly the good foundation that you need in your music library. You have to have all those kinds of things to start with, but there is so much more out there. There are endless clean versions versus explicit versions. There are redrums that can take an older song and add a new beat so that it's kind of like relevant to two different generations all at the same time. Uh, there are quick edits for getting in and out of songs before the crowd gets bored. There are transition mixes that will take you from like a high BPM to a low BPM or otherwise, uh, all within the same song without having to do any kind of fancy transition. There are hook first edits that basically take that hook or the chorus and put it before the first verse to kind of get people's attention so they don't get bored as they go across there. Uh, we can't forget about the simple intros and outros where it takes a basic radio song and gives it a very mixable intro or outro. There's the acapella intro and outros for doing all kinds of fancy stuff and let's not forget the mashup. The interesting thing about this digital age of music is that you are never limited to just the songs that you download. 
Uh, besides those songs, pretty much every single DJ software out there has access to some sort of streaming music service. As long as you have access to the internet through Wi-Fi or a hotspot on your phone, you have access to an endless number of streamable songs. So now imagine having a well-curated library and access to endless amounts of streaming songs online. If that doesn't get your creative juices flowing, I'm not sure what would. And if all the digital downloads or the streaming services aren't enough, you could make your very own remixes or edits. There are several free or very cheap editing programs out there that aren't too difficult. In just a couple hours, you can take a song that you wish began or ended differently and make it the way you want. If nothing else from both the download or do-it-yourself mindset, you can fix endless songs that have those variable BPMs. Why spend time chasing it, you know, pushing forward, nudging backward, trying to get the song in the right spot when you can just go out and get a version that's someone has already fixed or fix it yourself and you never have to worry about that again. I know what you're saying, I don't have time to mess with this, but how many songs in your music library that you play on a regular basis that you wish were a little bit different some way or another or fixed the variable BPM or something? It could be an intro or an outro, it could be the length of the song or whatever. If you take time to fix it just once, you never have to worry about that again. So for the next decade or two decades of you spinning that song, all you have to do is load the song and play it. Now, doing all these things with the editing and your music library and curating doesn't have to be this giant and overwhelming task. You can start with just a few songs at a time, and before you know it, your music library will start to look all shiny and new. A DJ's music library is the foundation of their business, and in fact, I would probably say that their music library is an extension of their creativity. If you take a little bit of time and attend to your library, you'll find it's like tuning up a car. The car may have worked great before, but after the tune-up, it is going to be running awesome. Having a well-groomed music library will help you out in so many ways. Uh, it will make you sound more professional because you'll always have the right song at the right time. It will make your mixing more efficient. No more fumbling for the songs at the last second right before songs ending trying to figure out what to play or how to transition it. You will always have a full list of possibilities right in front of you. And finally, in my opinion, I think this is the most important, you will have more fun. A well-tagged, sorted library will free you up to observe the crowd and interact with them, pick better songs, mix more efficiently, or just simply enjoy being in the moment. If you don't believe me, I encourage you to spend just one hour before one of your next gigs coming up and work on your library, whether it be new songs or new versions of songs or edits or something. Start with the songs you play the most. Make sure that they are tagged correctly, set the cue points, sort them where you want them to be, get the edits that you want or fix the versions that have variable BPM, get it all nice and tidy. If you take the time to do those things and you don't see a difference, I will refund the money that you spent on this free 10 minute video. All joking aside, I promise you that a well-curated library will not only make you a better DJ, but you will have more fun at DJing. Until next time, this is DJ Michael Joseph saying take care and God bless.